Hi folks, we have a little Earth Tools video here. We are going to talk today about the new improved Earth Tools Power Barrow attachment uh, for a walk behind tractor. <clears throat> this is actually the prototype we slapped together and uh, it is mostly what the finished model is going to be. There might be a few tweaks, but the idea is <clears throat> the idea is going to be the same. Uh, uh, we're not changing the idea. Basically, we've got a front mounted barrow here or utility cart uh, with the axle at the far end that is the axle is at the opposite end of the tractor so that the weight that goes in the bucket is equally carried by the tractor by, by the tractor axle and also the axle of the barrow this way by adding weight to the barrow we are actually adding weight to the tractor which gives it better traction so uh, we had an older power barrow which you can find a video for on YouTube uh, that was kind of a rigid mounted deal uh, with swiveling caster wheels on the front. Uh, that was a little too top heavy uh, and also the bucket capacity was just smaller than what a lot of people wanted and it had kind of a high center of gravity. So we dropped the center of gravity down, increased the hauling capacity, put the axle up in the front and introduced a swivel joint back here. So it now swivels or articulates where it meets the tractor. So the tractor is going to plug onto the coupling here. Um, this is similar to our utility trailers. That is all the towed utility trailers that you use behind a walk behind tractor swivel on a, on a clevis hitch here. Uh, and usually you're sitting on those trailers and driving it with the handlebars. Well, that's fine for a lot of applications, but it also makes for a pretty long rig because you've got the tractor, you've got the operator sitting in the middle and then the utility trailer behind. So the turning radius is fairly large and needs some space to maneuver. Also, if you're going up a hill pulling a utility trailer, the tractor has no weight advantage. That is, the, the weight that's in the trailer doesn't give any excess traction to the tractor axle because all the weight in the trailer is on the trailer axle. So it's like trying to go uphill with a front wheel drive car that's loaded down with people in the back and the front wheels just spin because there's no traction on the drive wheels. Um, so the idea here is to help shift that uh, weight onto the drive axle if you're going up a hill. In fact, virtually all the weight comes back onto the drive axle. The BCS Buddy Cart has a design sort of like this. BCS America tried to take our utility cart design and kind of marry it with a power barrow design, but the, the overall effect was something a little long and ungainly. And <clears throat> having a front mount barrow with a swivel joint in the middle, which is what we've done here, is really tricky because when you're trying to push a load, particularly going up a hill, there's a good chance that it's gonna jackknife on you. Think of backing up with a trailer. If you're trying to back up up a hill with a trailer, the thing just wants to jackknife all the time. Well, hence springs. We decided that the way to do that was have some sort of a system that would essentially pull it back to center. Just the same way when you're driving a car and you let go of the wheel, if your wheels are aligned properly, the, wheel, the steering wheel returns to center and the, track, the, the car comes back straight again. So you're going around a turn, but you let go of the wheel and the wheel actually comes back to straight. This thing does the same thing. When you let go of the handlebars, it actually tries to correct itself by bringing the thing back to a straight line. Of course, the heavier load you've got and the more of a steep grade you're going up, the more those spring, that spring load kind of gets overridden by gravity but it's helping and it helps you control the machine. So I'm gonna hook this thing up. Uh, we don't have any kickstand on this thing. We might introduce that at some point in time, but for now, what I'm gonna do, uh, if you wanna bring the camera around here, Sophie. Sophie, my 12 year old daughter is filming. Uh, thank you, Sophie. I'm gonna put this block of wood up here and roll the tractor up like this. Set that thing up on the quick coupling like so. I did that the hard way. But anyway, shove that up there. Now this quick coupling is kind of sitting there. The cart can't get away. And I simply pivot this down, give it a little push forward, and voila, it's in the quick coupling. Drop the handle, make sure it's fully locked, and we've got the power barrel locked on. Another little feature we built into this is a uh, well, we have a latch here. You pull up on this latch in order to dump it. That is, it can't dump now, but you pull up on this latch and it dumps. And then here, we made some notches 
to hold the bed in various positions. Now actually this got revised a little on the final version. I think we've got a notch here and a notch, well we've got two notches on the final version, one fully dumped and one like half dumped. This one we did three notches. But the fact is when you're dumping, you kind of want it to stay there. You don't want to have to keep a hand on it all the time while you're dumping it. So you can actually lock it in position and then back out from under it. Or, you know, if you want to dump it in the half locked position, which actually the half locked position on the production models is about right here, then you can like scoop stuff out of the bed as you slowly back it up over a garden bed or something like this. So this automatically relatches itself. And now we're going to fill this up with some manure. Start it later after we get this thing full. Okay, we've got this thing loaded up with composted manure. We're advertising a weight capacity on this power bear of 750 pounds. I have no idea how close to that we are, but it's got to be close because that's pretty wet composted stuff. Again, I have no idea how much weight we've got on there. It's good thunderstorm, so I gotta hurry up. So, let's get a little more in here. This stuff is not quite seasoned, so I'm sure it's pretty heavy. This thing fell down about three months ago.
can't steer. <laughs>